I've got two relatively quick trades for you today. The first one is in Facebook, the second one is in Alibaba, and I have three main lessons for you for these trades. Now, both of these trades, Alibaba and Facebook, both of them broke even. Now, before you click skip, I want to share with you the three lessons that came out of this. The first one is knowing your time frame. Second is understanding market health. And third is understanding where you're at in the position. And you can have an overarching theme of synthesizing these three rules or, or these three themes together. And it's the synthesis of them that allow us to be consistent in the market over the longer term. Let's start with Facebook. Facebook, we all know, is the leader in the social media space. That's what got us interested in the first place. It was a leader in this industry, and it's also been a leading stock for a very long period of time. So Facebook started to consolidate, and it started to poke its nose above what was, or what we thought was an advanced entry point on a break above this descending trend line here. So got in at 181, uh, 0.03. And our exit for this trade, and, and what really prompts us for, for every single trade, well, we like to know what the advanced entry point's going to be, but we also want there to be a real good longer term support level very nearby. And you have that right here. You have it right below, it's below the 50 day moving average, it's below this other fainter line, which is the 100-day moving average, and uh, we have the initial stop placed at $168.97, which is very cryptically uh, risking 6.66%. Uh, so we get in, and we're following along with this trade. It starts to, to work, and it's kind of chopping around a little bit. Then on uh, over here, you know, when we get into the early part of February, uh, we're raising our stops uh, to even on a number of the trades that haven't really moved too far yet. And the reason why is because we saw the market doing this, right? So beginning our yeah, early stage of February, we're seeing the market start to roll over. We end up exiting Facebook on this day and exiting for break even. We're rolling the stop up to break even when we're starting to see the market consolidate and uh, we saw this much bigger rally. And while we're still operating on the intermediate term time frame, for the positions where we don't have a lot of profits yet, where we don't have much of a cushion, uh, trades that haven't really gone anywhere yet, like a Facebook, we don't really want to sit around and wait for it to shake us out at our uh, original stop loss, which we would have been shaken out uh, a couple of days later over here, which is February 9th. We roll our stop up to break even and we're shaken out right there. That That's part of where understanding our time frame, our intermediate term time frame. It's not where we exited right away. Well, we were holding this for, for about two months and ended up breaking even. So that, that right there is intermediate term. But it's knowing the market's health and it's also understanding where we are in the position. For a trade like Adobe or Intuitive Surgical or Mercado Libre, we're able to give the stocks a bit more room because they've already proven themselves. We're sitting on gains of 20%, 50%, 100%. For Facebook, we let me see how much we were up on this trade at a maximum. At a maximum, we only had a 7% gain and it was quickly starting to evaporate and it the trade like looking at this price action from left to right it it never really takes off so and it never delivered uh, 
it never develops additional higher levels of support. So for that reason, we're putting our stop at break even, get shaken out, and that's it. And you can see that Facebook has really just kind of chopped around uh, since uh, exiting in mid-February, and it, it it's back up to, it, it's almost back up to the break-even point, but we would have sat through all that much, much better to just exit the trade. Now let's take a look at Alibaba. If you recall from an earlier video, Alibaba was one of our biggest winners in 2017. We started a position right for, before it reported earnings in January of 2017, and we wrote it up for the bulk of this trend here, and we ended up getting shaken out right over here, right? And then we saw Alibaba rebound, and we decided to take another stab at Alibaba. It broke above the short-term descending trend line. It looked like it had put in a near-term low. So let's get back in. We don't want to be shaken out of this leader and let, let, let's try to take another shot at it, right? So we end up getting in, we get in at 177.68. We set our initial stop below this low over here at 164.15 and we're risking 7.61% between our entry point and our exit point. Pretty soon, Alibaba starts to work, but again, we're seeing this nasty move in the S&P 500. We're seeing the, this, uh, this huge sell-off. And at this point in Alibaba, we don't have that much of a, of a cushion like we did when we we're, we're enjoying this other entire move up. Now, we're treating Alibaba like it's a new position, and it is a new position. If we were still holding from way back here, then I have to imagine that the market health, the market consolidating wouldn't have been an issue for us, right? Like that's not playing into the factor. It's playing in because we started a brand new position over here, and this brand new position didn't have that much of a cushion yet. Alibaba started to break out and run, but it started to quickly pull back in. And with the market acting how it was acting, we did not want to sit with Alibaba and wait for it to consolidate and chop around sideways some more. We were already holding it for about two months, and so let's move the stop up to break even. If we get shaken out, we get shaken out. And well, if it presents another opportunity to get back in down the road, then so be it. So we exit Alibaba right there. And so far, it hasn't taken out what was our original stop loss, but it still is just chopped around for another couple of months. And that's time where we can be preserving our physical capital as well as our mental capital, which is even more important, and not have to deal with the angst of, oh, is Alibaba going to come back? Is it going to continue to roll over? Oh my God, we're now trading below this 50-day moving average for an extended period. Look at this. We took a dip below the 200-day moving average. Who wants to deal with all that nonsense? I would. It, it's so much better to be able to exit and manage the trade for what it is and understand where we are in the trade versus trying to pick the exact top or pick the exact bottom. We want to have a consistent set of rules that we're going to follow for every single trade. And those sets of rules include both technical rules and it's going to include rules around managing the actual position for us, if we don't have a huge cushion or a huge being like 20% or better in a position, then we're going to begin rolling our stops up to break even when we start to see that kind of choppiness in the market, especially well, the kind of choppiness that we saw in January. We only had about uh, less than 10% 
on both Facebook and Alibaba, and therefore much better to roll the stop up to break even versus trades a lot like Adobe and Intuitive Surgical and and Mercado Libre, where we already had good cushions, where we could give those stocks more room to work. Learning how to do this, learning how to properly execute trades, learning how to properly manage trades, it all takes a substantial amount of time. It took me years and years and years of getting kicked in the face by the market in order to learn. And then for intermediate term trading, what finally helped me get over that hump was by modeling success. And that's what I've done with the model portfolio. I'm following along the success of Adam Sarhan, trade for trade for trade. And in doing so, I'm learning all these different lessons right along with you guys. You can earn while you learn. I want you to take a three month trial to the Advanced Stock Report Service. It's only going to cost you $27 for three whole months of trading along. With this service, you're going to get access to the model portfolio. And so you'll see exactly where we're going to enter a trade, where we're going to exit a trade, how much we're risking, and you're gonna get this plan before anything's ever executed. So that way you could see and follow along and understand the rationale. You're also going to get direct access to both Adam Sarhan, who writes for Forbes, who has 20 years of portfolio management experience, and you're gonna get access to me as well, and you could ask us any and all questions that you have. You're going to get intra-week updates. You're going to get full market commentary and analysis. And you're going to get additional advanced entry points in so many other leading stocks. All of that for only $27 for your thir first three months. It, it makes all the sense in the world to just test this service out, kick the tires, see if it's right for you. Use coupon code YouTube and click the link either below in the description or I'll also link it up here for the Advanced Stock Report service. And again, use coupon code YouTube. And when you check out, you'll be able to get three months for only $27. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you have any questions on anything I said at all, please leave it down in the comment section below and I will personally help you. Also, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. That's going to help us out a lot. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that way you get every single update. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care, and have a great day.